Hello and welcome to this IFS YouTube video. My name is Fredrik Johansson and I work as a program manager at IFS R&D Supply Chain. In this video I will show you a new feature called Shipment Order which is used when moving goods between sites and warehouses with different addresses. I will show how the shipment and receipt processes are used for the execution. I will also show that the shipment order is considered in the material planning. So let's start the demo. This is the new shipment order page. And as you can see, I have created a shipment order in advance. In my scenario, this shipment order includes material needed for service of a hot tub. The hot tub is represented by a remote warehouse. If I go to the inventory part availability planning page, you can see that the shipment order is a demand. Uh, just as I said before, and depending on the planning situation, this could be basis for generating new supply. So, now it's time to go back to the shipment order and release the shipment order. When doing so, uh, a shipment is created instantly as my shipment creation method is creation at release. So let's go and have a look at the shipment. Note that this is the same shipment that is used when delivering custom orders. So in other words, we have all the required features and the user can follow the same process. Next step would be to reserve the shipment. And since we have a limited time here, I have configured my shipment process to run a lot of the steps automatically. Therefore, the pick list is automatically created, printed and even pick reported. Now I want to put all the pick parts onto a pallet. So I entered the shipment handling unit structure. And uh, here you can see that the spa pump uh, is already on a pallet because it was packed like that in inventory and picked straight from inventory. Uh, I want to put uh, the spa jets onto the same pallet. Do like this. So now all my parts will be delivered on one pallet. So let's go back to the shipment. I will now complete the shipment and I have configured my shipment process to automate the rest of the steps. So delivery, closure, printing of delivery notes, sending of dispatch advice happens automatically. And after this I go and copy the delivery note number as I will use that to receive those parts that are now under transportation. I search for the delivery note number in the incoming dispatch advice and here I can see the delivery. And if I click on the handling unit structure command I can also see how the parts were packed. And uh, once the pallet physically arrives I can uh, use uh, this uh, page to receive the pallet with all the contents uh, into inventory at the destination. And if I have a more detailed look at the handling unit, I can see that it's now in the remote warehouse in the inventory. And this means that the shipment order, the shipment and the receipt, they are all closed and the service of the hot tub can start. Okay, with that said, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you have a better picture of this new feature called Shipment Order. And uh, please subscribe to IFS YouTube channel.